just here in Ohio for wearing a Cleveland Brown shirt today. But a lot of Steeler fans here, even in our church. But do you have a favorite player? Uh, is, is, did he influence your decision? Uh, uh, I like Peyton Manning a lot. Yeah, okay. Because, yeah, he's, just, he's a smart player and everything. He's a good role model, I think. He sets a good example for people. And uh, he's just uh, really confident about what he does and just a good leader. Yeah, he, he's, uh, for a young quarterback, that's a pretty good role model to have there. Um, let me ask you, thinking back on your high school career, and you, you're still a senior, but you've had quite a career. I can remember a couple of years ago when you were a sophomore, uh, Pastor Jonathan telling me, we've got a kid in our youth group who was really pretty good at football. And uh, here you are, um, player of the year last year in uh, the state of Ohio, uh, number one rated quarterback in the state of Ohio, uh, number four passing nationally, I believe. And I'm sure those statistics change week to week, but uh, that's the latest uh, that we've been able to find. But looking back on your career in high school so far, what would you say has been like the most exciting thing that has happened to you being a football player? Um, probably just this summer, being able to go to all the different colleges and universities I got to visit, and um, just being able to meet all the, like the coaches and everything, yeah. like the famous coaches and stuff like that, that everyone knows, and just being able to visit the stadiums and stuff like that and meet the players. Sure. Who are a couple of the most famous people that you've, you've met? Uh, I went down to Florida State. I met Bobby Bowden. Did you? Okay. I went to Notre Dame. I met Charlie Weiss. Yeah, he's having a rough year. <laughs> a little <Yeah>. bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what would you say, and uh, we may have already alluded to it um, with, in light of what happened this weekend. We've had this interview scheduled for a while, so didn't know uh, Zach was going to get injured Friday night. But what's been the most challenging thing that you have faced as a, as a high school football player? Um, Probably the decision of where I was going to go to school, yeah. and just I didn't really I was really confused about that whole thing. I didn't know how that was going to play out, and then probably this yeah. why this happened, right. but happened for a reason. So sure, okay. Hopefully it turns out to be a good reason. Right, and <laughs> <laughs> you say that uh, it's happened for a reason, and I know that you you and I have talked, and, and your mom and you've got a relationship with the Lord. Uh, can you kind of give us your, your testimony, how you came to know Jesus Christ? Well, uh, I was lucky to be growing up in a, in a Christian family with my mom and everything. She's brought me to church here all my life. And when I was about eight years old, she led me to Christ. And then when I was about nine, I got pap- baptized here by Pastor Cannon. Yeah, okay, amen. All right, and so uh, you're, that was when you were eight years old, and you're how old now? Seventeen. Seventeen years old, so for about nine years, you've had a a relationship with Christ and uh, everything that goes with that, and we're going to talk about that in just a few minutes. But with that relationship uh, with God that you have, and then being somewhat of a, a local celebrity, I think it's fair to say, um, yes. and the, the quarterback at your high school and everything that goes with that, how has your, your walk with God, your faith, um, um, how have you been able to, to use that in, in your position that you have at this young age? Uh, I think it's just taught me to rely on Him, and because uh, if I didn't have him, I wouldn't have be in the position I was I am today, and I wouldn't be able to do anything that I am today. And I just with football, I mean, it's not really me doing all that stuff. I just pray that every for every game that he'll give me the strength and the everything, the guidance to go out there and play to the best of my ability yeah. and everything like that, and play for him. Amen. Okay. Well, Zach, I appreciate you coming up here and uh, letting us talk to you and get to know you better. Uh, most uh, people here that attend here faithfully know you, but you're kind of a quiet guy. So this was a. Uh, uh, A big step of faith uh, for you, but I appreciate you coming up here. And uh, I'm going to ask Pastor Jonathan. I know uh, you have a great relationship with him, and he has uh, just been a a huge supporter of you. If he would come, and we just kind of want to have a word of prayer. Jonathan's going to lead us in prayer and pray for you, pray for your injury, but uh, most importantly, just pray for your future and the doors that God is going to open for you going to Miami and and who knows what else down the road. Uh, I'm sure if if things worked out, you'd love to be in the NFL and... uh, and, and have all of the opportunities that, that come with that. And so we just we want to pray for you. We want to pray that God is with you, that he protects you, and that you're able to, to use this platform to be a witness for him. So let's go to the Lord together in prayer, and then we'll be done. All right, thanks. Father God, we do just thank you so much for this day and just the opportunity that we've already uh, had, God, to worship you. And God, we just thank you for uh, Zach Dysert. And God, we thank you for the gifts and the unique abilities that you've given him. And God, how you've just placed him in the spotlight. And God, as we've reminded him, I know his mother has, God, you've placed him there for a reason. Uh, strategically, God, as a platform, God, just to make your name known. And God, we just thank you for how he's sought to do that. God, I know he's not only been the best player on the team, but he's also been a leader for you, God, and we just praise you for that. And God, we just pray uh, for the adversity that you've allowed him to experience. God, we know that you allow adversity in our life for a reason, God, and always it's to make us stronger. And so I pray that for Zach right now. God, I pray for a quick healing uh, for his bone, God, that he can get back as soon as possible, God. And God, that 